Hello everyone, this is the official tutorial for Scrapstone. This lesson will introduce the editing interface of the smart mode. Let's get started. First, we open the software, open a smart mode task, and enter the task editing interface. This is the address bar. We can see the script URL. Only the first is displayed when entering multiple URLs. Click here to edit it, which is the same as the URL setting method when creating a task. On the left is the refresh button, which will refresh the current page and then re-recognize it. The pre-logging feature is used to log in to the script site, especially if the site needs to be logged in to see the content. After clicking pre-logging, we can log in in the pop-up window. You can log in using cookies or log in directly on the page. After the login completes, click the Login Succeed button. Squarestone does not log your login information. All information is stored locally. This button is pre-executed and will open the edit window of flowchart mode after clicking. Here, you can click or enter text and so on. After the operation is completed, click the Save and Exit button. Pre-executed operations will run before automatic recognition. This button is used to manually self-capture. When editing tasks, sometimes because of the blocking of the website, the page will be displayed as capture. At this point, you can click this button and then proceed in the pop-up window. Here are more settings, including opening proxy and web security option. You can follow the prompts to set it up. These are browser modes, including PC browser and iPhone browser. You can try it during the scraping process. In the middle is the web page display area. Click here to collapse and expand the left taskbar. This is the result preview window. Click here to collapse and expand. Click the stripe to drag up and down. There is no relationship between the number of previous and final script results. It can display up to 20 data, and the number of data displayed is related to the current page. That's all for today. Thank you.